problem is that uh, many vendors uh, didn't have security in mind when designing these mm. IoTs. Welcome to the Bankers Masterclass Series in association with Casha Bank on best practices in digitalization. We're filming on location in Barcelona at Casha Bank's headquarters. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Carlos Soleil, Chief Information and Security Officer, to look at the changing security environment in an interconnected world. Carlos, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about sort of the new technologies that are coming to bear that help banks actually protect their data? There are a lot of improvements in the in the in the tools in the in the solutions we we were using for accessing the data for traceability or for protecting so ciphering. There are improvements, but but no real uh, inno innovations in the, in that sense. Uh, but saying so, uh, what now is um, more focused in, in in information security to protect those data is using big amounts of data. Uh, we have technologies to do that. Uh, uh, along the, the, the work created uh, in many in many companies, uh, and how to use this uh, huge amount of data to analyze to use uh, AI uh, in order to get uh, especially what we call um, uh, anomalous behavior or abnormal behavior mm -hmm. and detect when bad things could happen to this data. No? Uh, for instance, if someone uh, entered the, the, the company mm -hmm. is trying to exfiltrate uh, information, uh, no, not only information from customers, but others. No? So we are applying these uh, kind of technologies that are not new, but now are uh, uh, you could apply them because the, 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 this new technology about big data especially. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but there's been a lot of changes happening yes. uh, in the in the world, especially around payments. Let's say mm -hmm. so we're moving to the world of uh, payment services directive two, yes. uh, and open application uh, programming interfaces. Do you think that actually increases the risk um, in terms of data security, or why or why not? Well, every innovation and uh, every new way to interact with uh, customers or to interact with other businesses. Uh, is, is a risk, no? or, or derives in a risk or in a threat, as well as an opportunity. Uh, of course, the, here one of the main uh, risks that appear and uh, uh, that we need to manage is uh, till now uh, we have mainly all the control from the customer interacting with the bank. There are only these two actors, so we uh, we give the, our customers the applications that should have this data, so these applications are our responsibility. So we know what are doing all, all the, uh, in all the phases. Uh, now, uh, with open banking, we give information mm. of our customers, in reality, to third parties mm. that need to do the same control to this data. No? Ima imagine they not only are um, giving a platform from the customer to, to the bank to trade the data, but also uh, Mm, uh, having this data in their systems and there's a breach from from one of these third parties. We will also be one of these third parties. Mm. So uh, this is mainly the, the risk th that we need to manage better. So in my opening uh, remarks I talked about the you know growing interconnectedness of the world and Internet of Things is definitely one thing that is driving that. How is that going to have an impact on data security within a bank? Well Im I imagine in your in your daily life that you were surrounded continually by cameras, by microphones, that some of your uh, body parts are controlled by devices, technological devices, no? your, your blood pressure, your heart, your sen sensing all you have. Imagine you have this in your car, in your house, so a lot of tiny devices that controls many things and gets information about you. Uh, and. Uh, and now imagine that someone can get access to those devices. Mm -hmm. This is the reality, because if you have a technology and you have a way to uh, access in illicit, with illicit purposes to that technology, it's also uh, possible always to get illicit access to this technology. No? Uh, the, 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 problem, sorry, uh, the problem is that uh, many vendors uh, didn't have security in mind when designing these mm. IOTs. Uh, many of them, the, the some some car vendors uh, 
uh, know it the hard way. So uh, hackers get access to cars and control them. If you put that in a, in a very interconnected world, this is a threat for, for safety, human safety, because uh, there's an interface between technology, internet technology and, uh, and humans, and as well as privacy. Imagine our kids interacting with toys that hear their conversations. Uh, so from the society point of view, there's this threat. Uh, we are uh, members of, a, of a, an association in, in, in Spain, it's an ISMS forum that uh, is, is dealing with that. It's, a, it's an initiative to approach this, some of these vendors, for instance, the toy industry, uh, to involve them in security, to, to kind of guide them in, in how to do things more secure. And in a, co in a more corporate world, uh, what companies, uh, especially in this case, uh, need to do is uh, take into account all these devices that are not part of the core systems, that are not part of our uh, communications, but are there, and, and consider them as a possible backdoors to our employees or backdoors to our systems. So we need to be very vigilant uh, about that, to, 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 to analyze if they are uh, around us, if they are uh, uh, vulnerable, or, or if someone is capable to throughout these kind of devices enter and, and compromise the, the banking. Now we do a lot of exercises to, to prove so. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Carlos. Thank you.